Uh, the whole time throughout the whole production, we were just, you know, trusting God that this was going to be changing lives, and that's kind of what we had to remind ourselves of the whole time. Like, this is not for us. This is for something bigger, something greater. The story is about a girl with big dreams and big expectations having a, a little bit of a letdown and then being transported into this dream world, alternate world, where she gets a chance to do it all over again. She makes a couple mistakes, she learns a few things, and she gets back to the real world and she has the opportunity to put those things into practice in real life. Somebody ran into me on Sunday and said, um, I brought friends, I brought three friends to see the show who, who've always wanted to go to church, um, but were never invited to go. And they were so happy to open up the program and see an invite to come to Springs. I was like, the, the, the story of the show doesn't even impact them. It's they're in the seat and they open up the program and there's an invite to, it's, on so many levels, Fringe just changed everything, and I think that it's just a new way um, to go out. I think that was the biggest thing, that a lot of people after the show were like, well, that was really good, and that was put on by a church. I think the biggest joy for me was to be able to look into the crowd and you see these beautiful families and these beautiful faces that I have never seen before, and I know that they're just from the community uh, coming in and uh, I think that was the most beautiful part, was to see them enjoy the show and to see, um, just, just see us as a church do something different, something different than the norm and something totally spirit contemporary. You know what, we've left a lasting impression on people and that's really what we want to do, is leaving, leaving an impression of what church is kind of like. <laughs>